Hi, Paul Cashman with today's music news from undercover.com.au. The Guns N' Roses album Chinese Democracy is finally coming. I think we believe it this time. Axl Rose is reported to have finally handed over the tapes to Geffen Records. The album began 14 years ago and was scheduled originally by Universal Music in 1999. We now may see Chinese Democracy before the end of this year. George Bush has announced Black Music Month. The US President gave a speech at the White House and talked about all the acts who performed there over the years. Most recently, The Temptations performed for him, but the very first president to have a performance at the White House was President Arthur in 1882. He hosted the Jubilee Singers. President Carter was the first rock and roll president. He had Chuck Berry perform for his family. Berry played O'Carroll, but on the day changed the lyrics to O Amy for President Carter's daughter Amy. Elton John says he'd still be married to his ex-wife Renata Blau if he wasn't gay. Elton was pretty much in denial when he married Renata to show the world he wasn't gay in 1984 when the couple married in Sydney, but they confronted the truth by 1988 and divorced. Renata was a former sound engineer for the Human League. She now lives the life of a recluse in Surrey in the UK. The Roddy James Dio edition of Black Sabbath is going back to the studio to record a new album. They cannot use the name Black Sabbath, of course. Sharon Osbourne won't let them. But they will be releasing their new album under the name Heaven and Hell. That was the name they used on the world tour last year. Rhino Records through Warner will release the album early in 2009. Lil Wayne has done what no one has done for three years. His album, The Carter Three, has sold more than one million units in the US in the first week. The last album to do that was 50 Cent's The Massacre three years ago. And finally, Britney Spears is selling up and moving out. She's sick of the paparazzi. Britney is leaving her Studio City house and moving to the Calabasas area of Los Angeles. Well, we have news for you, Britney. I think the paps are going to follow you. And for more on these stories and a few others, head to undercover.com.au.